Good morning, brothers and sisters. Here are some reflections on the readings of the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Times. In view of the kingdom of heaven, Jesus gives this Sunday a teaching on mercy and forgiveness to his apostles and disciples. All are aware that God in Jesus Christ came to bring us his mercy and his forgiveness because we are all sinners and we depend on him to be saved. It should be also noted that conflicts and offenses exist within members of the same faith community and between brothers and sisters. The question of forgiveness arises because it closely affects the credibility of the Christian vocation of any disciple because this community is a sign and the presence of Christ. How many times should we forgive a brother or sister who has offended us? Above all, we must not forget that we are all sinners and we are all forgiven by God who gives grace. That said, in setting our differences, in settling our differences with others, forgiveness and mercy must be considered because God is the first to forgive us. Ben Sirach, the wise, reminds us that we will be inconsistent if we ask God's forgiveness without granting it in turn to others and to our brothers and sisters. We all depend on him for St. Paul, living in the Lord implies sharing in his mercy and in his forgiveness. Jesus wants to make us participants, not live for themselves, but in community with them in peace, unity, love for one another. Through his parable on the mercy of God, Jesus makes us understand that the mercy of God must rub off on every disciple since we are all made in the image and likeness of God. The practice, the practice of forgiveness is therefore part of being Christians. Forgiveness should not be a subject of calculations. Forgiveness goes beyond all reasoning. Jesus lives and invites every disciple to free himself from the spiral of anger and revenge. We must move away from revenge and move towards forgiveness. To forgive is not to sweep under the carpet, but to look past the offense. It is to survive and to renew the relationship which was cut down by that offense. To renew his friendship and their confidence. Forgiveness opens a perspective of a possible new future. Through this parable, Jesus teaches us that we must always forgive. This is the whole teaching of our Father. Forgive our trespasses as we also forgive those who trespass against us. It is the infinite forgiveness that Jesus preaches here. This does not mean that it will be easy, but it will be like a test a test of fidelity to God and to his mercy. To forgive someone is to realize that we are forgiven. So where do you find the strength to forgive? It is up to us to pray, to beg the Lord to make us capable of forgiveness in all the damages that we may suffer. The forgiveness received must commit us to give the same to others. Like master, like disciple. Let us pray, Lord, grant us grace. Remove from all our hearts all traces of bitterness, all desire for revenge. Give us the strength and the courage to forgive as you forgive. Calm our hearts, calm all the people whose wounds they suffered do not resurface and from the past bring hurt again. Grant them inner healing, O Lord. Keep us in your love. Make us living witnesses of your mercy. We wish you all a good Sunday. Stay well. May Almighty God bless us, one and all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.